guys, Caleb's Cards here, doing a special video for my 800 subscriber contest and my five years of TTMing. Um, just want to promise you guys that I do a top 25 TTMs in my collection, and uh, Duke's there having a good time in the background there. Hey, Duke. Hey. He's not paying attention. But anyways, want to do a top 25 uh, TTMs in my collection. Uh, it's pretty hard to try and narrow them down. Some that like really uh, jump out at me, that that uh, come to mind first, and then some I had to go and search for and try to remember I even had those people. But uh, as I was looking through the books, uh, it took a week to kind of figure out what I wanted to do, and have compiled a list for you. And uh, we'll start from number 25 and work our way on up. So uh, if I think uh, if you can guess what my number one is. I'll get you a prize. I'll, get, I'll send you out something. So, a little bonus prize if you can guess what you think the number one is. Um, obviously, don't skip ahead. No cheating. Be honest now. But uh, the first person I see with the uh, correct answer will win a prize. So, number 25 is this autograph card signed by John Elway's uh, ex wife, Janet Elway. Um, you're probably like, well, why is that? And you're talking about the reason why is actually the story behind it. Um, I had sent to her probably in like 2016 or so, 2015, and uh, about a year later got a response back from her with this card. Um, I sent that card out, it was in better shape, I got it from COMC and stuff, but uh, she said that one of, I think she said one of her sons or a nephew or something found us, like, hey, look at this, and uh, misplaced it somehow, and she went, she went searching in card shops and everywhere trying to find that card to send back to me, and, and just it just kind of spoke out to me that she took all that time to uh, also write me a letter back and just explain that she was sorry about the delay but that she took the time to still try and write to me and and get it back to me so that was really awesome uh, of her to do that so I wanted to make sure she was in my top 25 that's always one uh, special detail I got back number 24 is basketball Hall of Famer Bill Bradley of course uh, many people get him back but uh, this was my second attempt. I think the I never heard back the first time. Or if I did, I've completely forgotten. But uh, still really cool. Um, definitely wanted to have his autograph for the basketball collection, and uh, definitely he makes my top 25 for sure. Next up, number 23 is actor uh, Earl Haldeman. He is uh, in his 90s now. At the time I sent this, I think he was about 88. Um, he is a World War II veteran. I uh, signed up towards the end of the war. Uh, but just look at these awesome inscriptions just telling a story. He is a really, really nice man, really loves his fans. And uh, he also finally said he found, because I'd written to him about his military, thanking him for his service, he found a photo of him when he was in the Navy. And. Uh, he sent that to me, so that was really awesome. Uh, that's the same with Bob Barker, who sent me an email, or I sent an email to him, and he sent me a photo of uh, uh, when he was in the service. So that is really, really cool. Um, of course, uh, he also wrote me a letter as well. But uh, Earl Holloman, uh, for sure, has to make my top 25. Uh, it's really, that was a really cool response to get back a couple years ago. And number 22. Uh, is Mr. Rudy Cataldi. He is an animator. I think he is still alive. I cannot remember. He may have recently passed away. He probably cannot sign anymore because I know he said he was uh, losing his vision. But uh, he sent a whole bunch of extras. Um, he gave me also a Disney photo or a photo of Walt Disney. I gave that to somebody because they requested it. And uh, I thought of it. it wasn't like Cyberm or anything, it was just a picture of Walt Disney. So um, that's him with Bill Hanna because he did work for Hanna Brothers or I can't remember what it's called. Um, here's about when he just started, so he's super young there. Here's a letter that he wrote, and this page is really thick. This is a whole uh, thing about his life and everything he worked on all in this and it's a good 
eight to ten pages worth so that was a really cool response and unfortunately I don't think he's able to sign anymore and, or he may have passed away. Next up is a former basketball player and Hall of Famer. He also has passed away recently. He required a donation but uh, I was really happy to get this back. Nate Thurman. He was one of my better basketball autographs at the time. This is what uh, 21 I think. 5 and 4 3 yeah, 21. Oh, that's number 21 on my list. And uh, number 20, got Hockey Hall of Famer Howie Meeker, also a World War II veteran. Um, was in combat, and uh, yeah, uh, he actually wrote me back a letter asking if I uh, had this card or if he knew where he could get from. I tried to see if I could. Um, Buy, buy it for them, see them, see what they were like 10 bucks a piece. So I printed him a bunch of photos of these and sent them to him. Uh, he, he was able to keep some, but he said, unfortunately, he wouldn't be able to use them all. He doesn't get that much mail um, compared to others. I think not all people know about him, but he is a Hall of Famer. And uh, so he um, sent a couple of them back, also signed, and asked me to distribute them among some of my friends. So I did that. So running on the back, so that was a really nice response, and he also included an extra. So he's a really nice man. So I've been able to pen pal with him a couple times there. That was really cool. Number nineteen. I don't have everything um, from him, but I have quite a view of it here. Got Mr. Ken Retzer. So I got to speak to him on the phone. I had a good talk for about an hour. Uh, he sent all these extras. I sent him, I think, just a card, and he sent a ton of things. He's shaking hands with JFK after throwing out the first pitch. Back then they threw it from the stands, not on the mound. And here he is. He was doing some bullpen catching for the Phillies and the Mariners back in the 80s. So, and he would have been still up there in age. So it's still awesome to see that he was being active then. And here we got one. I think that's with Mickey Mantle there, and he's a catcher. And th this one's not signed, but this is a photo he took with uh, Harmon Killer Group as they were teammates. So it's really cool. So he got he talked about meeting him and stuff on the phone. So that's number 19. Number 18 is Mr. Tony Oliva. Sometimes it can be a tough signature to get. Um, he just signs only certain parts of the year, and that's how I was able to get him a few years back. Um, don't know how he's not in the Hall of Fame. He's one of the best Twins hitter uh, in their history, so hopefully he'll get in on the senior committee one of these days. But that's a really cool one that I was happy to get back. Another baseball one, number 17 here. got Josh Hamilton, one of my favorite baseball players, and uh, definitely uh, love following his career. Wish uh, could have ended a little bit better for him, but... Fortunately, he had a little bit of a relap relapse there and with alcohol. And he struggled with that with his uh, younger life. And I hope uh, I hope he's doing better. And uh, Batista still makes my cut. So that was a special TTM that I got back. Number 16. This is one that probably most of you don't even know I have. But uh, this was when I was just starting to get into, like, regularly sending to celebrities and um, unfortunately I didn't have anything else better than this other than an index card but as far as I know people have said that it is legitimate um, so I really hope so I sent he was doing a play for a lot of time uh, I didn't have enough time I, either to make a photo because the play was ending so I had to get out soon but this is Bruce Willis on an index card in silver um, still looks really nice and this card came back in good shape as well and inscribed to me so that's kind of a special one Maybe I'll frame it up with a photo one of these days. But I had to really dig for that one. That one took a while to find. Uh, another bat. I got a basketball one here. We got uh, the Big O. Oscar Robertson. That's how he would sign a century. He doesn't seem to sign as much anymore, but at the time he was. And uh, this is a special one I was able to get back a long time ago. It's probably another five or four years ago. So uh, that was really one of my favorites. Was number 15, number 14, the Vince Carter. 
Really love this photo. I did include a donation to his charity, but uh, well worth it. Usually gets back to you at the end of the season. I don't know if he's officially retired yet. I don't pay too much attention to the basketball league. They haven't in a while. But uh, really cool return from Vince Carter. So he makes got number 14. Uh, number 13 is uh, Avalanche legend Joe Sackick. Um, he's either in the Hall of Fame or will be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, got him uh, the home address, and he has since stopped signing from there. So just a handful of us were able to get him and got lucky. But uh, really cool return there. Awesome legend here in Colorado. And that's this is the number 12. This is really cool. This, these are the Mandrell sisters. So I sent to... Um, Louise and uh, she held on to it for a little bit. It was close to around Thanksgiving, she said. And uh, she liked my letter so much, she just uh, held on to it for a bit and had all three uh, sign it together when they got together for Thanksgiving. So that was really, really nice of her. She wrote me a nice long letter. And uh, I think she also, she may have included an extra, I can't remember. But uh, that was really cool of her to do this. So uh, I was really happy. And then later on, I got Barbara back. Uh, not too long after, so that was really cool. Louise Mandrell, number 12. Uh, number 11 is Dick Butkus. Back in the day, he was signed for like, he just wanted like $3, and so I sent him $3, and uh, he actually returned the 3 bucks and just signed the card. So, um, I guess that was nice in the return of the money, but uh, at least as far as I know, that's was one of my first ones I ever actually paid for. But, uh, Definitely uh, some of my early TTM, uh, fo or football TTMs are some I'm most proud of. Uh, I got some pretty decent names. So Dick Buckus. Number 10 is the Rockies All-Star, Charlie Blackman. Um, the signature's not that great. The card's not that great either, but uh, special to me because I uh, definitely love Charlie Blackman. You're probably not going to be able to get him now unless you pay like 25 or $50 now for the Rockies charity. But at the time, he was signing for free and uh, he sent the spring training. So uh, that's what I did for this one. Uh, probably 2016, I think it was. So uh, Actually, it might have been more like 2015 uh, before he became a superstar. So really cool. Charlie Blackman, number 10. Number 9 is uh, the Sheriff, Peyton Manning. I've always uh, wanted to get his autograph and was waiting and waiting and finally saw that you know, if you send about five or ten dollars usually he would sign every now and then sometimes he doesn't um, I think it depends on whether he's in town people do say they are legitimate because they do pass PSA DNA and sometimes you get rejections sometimes you get pre-signed photos sometimes you get your stuff signed so it's kind of uh, shot in the dark really with it you never know if you're going to get it back but really happy to get that one back I completed the mating trifecta with that one number eight is Apollo Ono. Oh wait, that is the wrong photo, but I looked at the wrong one. <laughs> Anyways, it's in a book somewhere. Um, Apollo Ono is definitely my number eight. Uh, I thought I grabbed the right one, but I made a little brain fart there and grabbed the wrong one. They're, those photos kind of look almost the same. But I promise you I have Apollo Ono, but that was one of my ones that I really liked. Uh, I watched him in the Olympics, but uh, yeah, so it's in the binder somewhere. Um, I guess number seven is uh, Bob Aronimus. He is uh, part of the Bigfoot hoax. He says uh, he was in the suit for this, and uh, I thought this would be a really interesting, cool autograph to get. Um, this was an extra included. I do also have another photo that's signed by him on the back side, I believe. And then I later got him for a friend that uh, thought it'd be funny. So uh, this, this is kind of just a cool um, T10 I was able to get Bob Aronimus. Uh Number six is uh, Jimmy Carter. Uh, I sent actually to, I believe it was, yeah, it was Jeff Carter asking if they would sign the back of the card because I was trying to get these Panini Americana card signed by either like president's relatives or presidents if they're still alive but obviously I was like eh I've already sent an email to Jimmy Carter 
but uh, he was nice enough to have the entire family sign a Christmas card for me. So that was a really nice uh, return there. And they're all legitimate signatures as well. So that was really, really cool. And a nice note there and picture as well. So that was a really nice gesture by Jeff Carter. Number five is Richard Armitage, who played Thor and Oakenshield in the Hobbit trilogy. This was one I was super excited to get back, um, sent to a play, and didn't hear anything for a long time. I figured out oh, that was lost, that was a waste of sending to the UK, and ended up getting it back. It actually came back postmarked in the USA, but with UK stamps on it, so I have no idea how that was even made it to me. It really shouldn't have, but uh, I guess the post office made a mistake and they missed that one. So this one got to me, and then the other one I gave to my sister, and she was really happy to get that one too. But that's a really cool, really cool return I got, was able to get back. Next up, she has recently passed away at the age of 102. Really sad that uh, daughter of a legend uh, passed away, but uh, this is number four. Julia Ruth Stevens. I've gotten her a couple times, but this is definitely my favorite with the uh, 8x10 photo. And DVI TOC let me know that the bat he's using is actually Bob Fellers. He used the walk out on the field there. But uh, a really awesome moment in history. Well, this is well after his retirement, but he came out suited up close to when he would pass away, but. Uh, I think a year or two before he would, but uh, when he was still uh, physically able to make appearances, uh, Babe Ruth. So, really awesome photo. Tells the story there. Number three is uh, Sir Ian McKellen, who played Gandalf. And of course, he's been in many other things over the years, but he's probably definitely best known for playing Gandalf in Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. And I was so excited to get that one. Uh, he signed there with the mark that he left on Bilbo Baggins' door. But that's really cool. He takes a while, but it's well worth it to get it back. Number two is Roger Staubach. I've been always wanting to get his signature, and saw a few people getting them back, and finally was able to get them. Uh, he wasn't signing for free this time around but he does inscribe but that's all right I don't mind it's gonna stay in my collection forever so um, big time uh, autograph there and my number one see if you guys guessed it has to be Jim Brown everybody was so amazed that I was able to get him I just sent to the Cleveland Browns saw one person get him back and I was like I'm gonna give this a shot I was able to get Garrett and him as well uh, he was generous enough to sign two photos uh, now I don't I doubt he would sign anymore because he probably got completely pounded with so much mail but you never know um, but that's definitely definitely my number one I was did not expect this to come back at all I thought this was just a one I'd give it a shot see what happens and boy did it pay off so really awesome Jim Brown that will stay in my collection also forever so that is my top 25 um, they may not necessarily all be worth a lot in your eyes, but they're worth a lot in mine. So, um, hope you guys enjoy. And just look at that big old pile. Um, hope you guys enjoy this top 25. Make sure you also uh, put an entry for the contest. Um, plenty of prizes go around. Still got till next Saturday to enter, so the 23rd. So that's it, guys. The video's gone long enough. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed to the end, and also remember, if uh, you guess the autograph there, you get a prize. So, talk to you later. Bye.